What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are starting something new today. This is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. That is a mouthful of a title. Uh, I do not know what to expect out of this. Look, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses was my first Fire Emblem game. Fell in love with it. I still play it to this day. Um, absolutely love the game. I do not like Dynasty Warriors. Never have. But these new Warriors games that are set in these, uh, you know, cause what there's... I'm trying to think the number of franchises. Uh, specifically, um, Hyrule Warriors, I think, was the big one that kind of caught my attention. I'm like, okay, this is actually starting to look not as, not as weird. Um, or, or, you know, this, this is starting to look a little more maybe up my alley. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors came out, and I'm like, hey, you know what? I just don't know the Fire Emblem franchise that well enough to really dive into it. And then Three Hopes started coming out, and the more I kind of looked at it, the more I kind of thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to try this. I'm, I think I'm going to try this on the channel. So that's what we're doing. Um, Like I said, I know absolutely nothing about this game, so we're going to... Just dive in and try and have some fun. New game. We'll play on normal as always. Oh, interesting. So they're kind of doing it like fire, you know, like, like true fire emblem. Uh, you know, I usually play in classic, so let's play that. Um, no, slow and steady. That's kind of the way I like to play it. It's such a trope of where is that freeloader, huh? Of um mages putting up like magic shields with one hand and then we're gonna use two hands to make it stronger. I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Ah, uh, finally. Come on, sunshine. Up and at him. Okay, so we're in Alliance territory. And this is our main character for this game. The, uh, we do not play as Byleth in this one. It's uh, a new character. Whose name I read in the description on the store, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? Oh, thank God we have a voice. What's going on? <laughs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Ah, uh, Shez. There we go. 
Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. Back off, you sack of guts. I'm just resting up for the battle. Yeah, well, the battle's on our doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Geralt's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight, if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so... Oh, which Byleth do we... You know what? Let's let's have female Byleth. Yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Okay, so I'm not 100% sure when this takes place in the larger Fire Emblem Three Houses kind of continuity. Because um, that opening fight, I mean, we saw... Um, the only three characters we saw were um, Rhea, Seteth, and who looked like an adult Flane, but that could have been Flane's mother. You know, now we're fighting the Geralt mercenaries. Um, Byleth is with them. Uh, and Byleth doesn't have the, the you know, the very light greenish white hair. So I'm going to guess this is all the very start of before the events of Three Houses. I'm taking a shot. When this is over, we'll all greet the new dawn together. <laughs> you sure are a cocky little thing. But yeah, all right. I'll be there. All right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Okay, left is movement, so that can you moving to dash. Let's move out. Drive them straight into their graves. Time to see what you're made of. Main mission team up with Getz and Lasley to defeat the enemies. Y is regular. Okay. Not much of a fight. Are these guys new recruits or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. Okay, Myrmidon class actions. Every class has its own unique class action. Shez is currently a Myrmidon. Hold X uh, to charge the class gauge and release it for a sweeping attack. You can use them while charging. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Always get the X and Y button flipped around on the on the switch controller. Yes, that's that. I stay tougher than this. Hey, you! Clear out that group over there. Okay, defeat the mercenary captain. Lock on, yada yada yada. ZL is done. Okay. 
Combat arts in that. Press R to open quick menu. Okay. You cannot use the same combat art multiple times in a row. Instead, you have to wait a certain amount of time. Using combat arts magic will reduce your weapon's durability. If the durability gets too low, you will be unable to use the corresponding combat arts magic durability. Yada 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 yada. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I used Grounder when I didn't need it, but whatever. So, we have a health item. Check out the stronghold over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. This is always kind of what I never liked about the or the Dynasty Warriors setup. It's just, it, to me, it's always felt like, all right, just run at the enemies. Da, 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 da. Um, I mean, so far, it's not bad. If I had to give my biggest complaint, uh, Battlefield Base is controlled by forces and capture base. Defeating the base captain. Uh, so far, my biggest kind of issue with it is that I just don't think it's the um, combat is super responsive. Or as responsive as it could be. My guys. Okay, during the stronghold captain stun gauge, defeat with a critical rush. Uh, at times, a stun gauge will appear in enemy's commander's head. Yada yada yada. Stun gauge, enemies perform. Excuse me, perfect guard. Enemy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Capture complete. Yeah. ran off ahead of us. Is she gonna be okay? Master your fear and advance! Keep your eyes open. We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here. Battlefields uh, contain strongholds, control my enemies, yada yada yada, slowly regain HP. On a stronghold, on a control, you captured by defeating the stronghold captain. Okay. Store weapon durability with so essentially they're like whetstones. The main force is here. We're saved. Now push, push yeah. the enemy back. About time a foe with some teeth showed up, yeah. but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. And defeat Gerald's mercenaries in the main force. Now, isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This'll be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. Oh no, Lasley died. She was nothing. Ugh, I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. Still in the fight. Yeah. I have to reach her before it's too late. Yeah, 
Again, I kept pressing Y because I don't know. Can't remember what button does what. Uh, when your warrior gauge, then eh, press A. Warrior special, yada yada yada. Okay. Down or die. Oh, voiced. We're gonna Cute. Stand. We're gonna fight. And we're gonna avenge the captain. I've got you now. Why am I so scared? It's just one murder. Run! Run while you can! That's no! This can't be happening! Wait, why do I have a steel sword in this cutscene, but I had an iron sword in the actual, uh... In the gameplay. I have to... keep... fighting. Perish with you. Huh? The cycle of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Cool. Where did you get that power? No idea. But it's just what I need to bring you down. Here it comes. You're done. No escape. We're here to help. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just button mashing now. Interesting. You're fighting like an entirely different person. But this fight is over. Hey, wait. Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. 
Another time, perhaps. Hey! We're not done here! Wait. Why am I... so... tired? Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Yeah. Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arval? Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. <laughs> um, thank you? Oh, oh my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now. I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. Is this a dream? I remember collapsing, but then... You're half right, which also means you're half wrong. But full marks for effort. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The man I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Okay, I love this dude. Prologue. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garrig Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Seros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. 
Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramayar. And west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Okay, so I remember Remire Village was the was the vill was around the area that no, because they mentioned that they were in Leicester or the Leicester Alliance uh, during the opening. Oh wait, no, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. But when Bi uh, but that opening bit was not when Byleth met with um, Edelgard. Dimitri and, and Claude that that was not that point there were different um, different times uh, I believe w the opening to Fire Emblem Three Houses was around Remire Village and that was also the place where we uh, found out that Tomas was part of the bad guys how many times must we do this get up already huh that's weird I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. D <sighs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. Twenty-two. Very specific. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote-unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. Hey, you could at least let me pick my own directions. Though I admit, I might have taken a wrong turn. Finally, some humility. That's almost reassuring. I was starting to think you were incapable of self-reflection. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. <laughs> now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. <laughs> a bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Okay, so this moment seems like it's right before the three meet Byleth and Gerald and everyone. Don't worry about him. You'll receive plenty of gold if we survive that. Uh, Shez changed class and is now a flugel. I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it till I hear it. Learning unique ability. There are three types of unique abilities. Action, support, and tactical. 
Uh, during battles, L and X. Unique abilities, currently controlling. Okay. Alright, so my unique ability is Shadow Flash. Uh, chance increase with hit. Instantly defeat non-commander units. Unique support ability, Mortal Coil. When HP is 90% or above, increase warrior gauge fill. Um, unique talent or tactical. Mercenary Creed. When ordered to attack, increase damage dealt. Okay. And that ordered to attack, I think that's something that's going to be... Um, something's going to end up getting brought up later. Uh, Castus. Fighting for them now, are ya? And you can die with your new friends! Okay, classes and affinities, advantage icons will be displayed on the minimap of the enemy commander's head when you have an effect that offers you an advantage against them, more advantageous, more up arrows, easier to increase the stun gauge, advantage can be determined by class, check class abilities, uh, being a fighter class equipped with an axe, Edelgard has strong advantage against lance wielding enemies. Oh shit. Let me show you a trick for dealing with heavily defended enemies. Yeah, right. And that's how it's done. Don't overstep, Edelgard. And it's a sword unit. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, that's... Okay, use the up or down. Control them from the order screen. Dimitri is a soldier class. Strong advantage in sword-wielding enemies. Switch to him when fighting enemies with swords. Take a breather. I've awaited this moment. I won't allow anyone to stop me. Making me feel bad for the enemy. Apologies, but it was you or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. Uh, units with crest facts can affect uh, yada yada yada. We, yeah, we know what crests are. Based on Fire Emblem, or the Three Houses, whatever. Is your lightning... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll go into more of that stuff probably in the future. I know, I know there's... Uh, the game's not just fighting missions. I know there's some strategic stuff. There's some stuff that still makes it look Fire Emblem-y, if that sentence makes sense. Uh, weapon combat art or magic that is extra effective it uh, gives huge advantage uh, yada 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 blah 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 um, example like defense armored units are um, magic cavalry is there's certain things flyers are um, bows and effective against monsters yeah I don't know uh, flying classes such as Pegasus Knights effective against them switch to Claude no problem. I'm a I master of strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. Hey, got 
got lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. Not so much for you. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting, and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Okay. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Issuing orders. To press that. Issue orders. A to this is yada yada yada. You can order a unit to move to a select location. Attack enemy strongholds. Heal using vulneraries. Uh, you can use auto battle to determine the course of action that you don't give direct orders to. Okay. So up here we know we have a thief with... Uh, that's a flyer. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. So we send Claude there. Swordsman. We will proceed. He's gonna be our buddy Dimitri. We must strive to perform to the Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. You have issued orders all your enemies. You shes to capture the remaining strongholds. You can switch between the orders and the screens. Okay. No problem. So can I? Does that? Okay. So it keeps them. Uh, it keeps the. Keeps the orders the way they are. So I'm gonna guess that if there's problems at a certain location, I can swap to the person controlling for a more hands-on approach and eh, break pots so we can get shit all right take it down we managed to contain things here not to worry over you too much but do make sure to heal if you're hurt Uh, R and B, yada. I'm not injured, so I don't need to use a vulnerary. They're all like this. We'll make good use of this. To unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense. Get up there and tear them all to pieces. Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? He's changing play. Watch this! Eloise. Bandits. The Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. This battle is practically won if the knights have arrived. The knights of Saros! Not now! If I don't kill at least one of them, Brett, I'm finished! Watch out! We're gonna make a last ditch effort to rush our position. And if he cast this. Okay, select the all-out offensive from the orders. All units will uh, attack a selected target. This is a good option for when you simply want to overwhelm the enemy with force. I've got this. Form ranks and capture those bandits. Quickly now. I get turned around. Awakened, engage. Okay, while awakened, all attacks 
Like the sun gauge, from the awakening gauge, warrior special. Surging through me. The time has come to use it. Do you feel that power? Maybe you can channel it like you did in the other battle. We cannot allow ourselves to perish here. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for you. Never should have been taken this job. Is it over? Come on, let me break that pot. That's bullshit. Okay, you've attained the S rank. First time rewards. White Verona. Got some bullion. Yeah, more experience in gold. Battle rank determined by completion time, enemies, damage, yada yada yada. Love that sound. Gotta keep aiming higher. Uh, defeat enemies, gain experience, leveling, hit points, strength effects, physical attacks, magic effects, magic power. Uh, dex is critical, speed is awakened state and recharge, time for combat arts and magic. Uh, rate of recovery items is luck, defense effects, physical attacks, resistance is defense against magic, charm is drain rate of a battalion's endurance, which we haven't really seen much for the battalions, but I'm sure we'll start seeing what's going to happen there. Stop here. Oh my gosh, I'm the MVP. Oh, oh, you get extra, <coughs> excuse me, extra experience for that. Combat arts level up, set number of times. Okay. And then you have class experience. Seriously, the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blaford, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. I have an issue with the way his name is spelled. There shouldn't be two D's in there. Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, I'm sure the three of you could have handled the situation just fine without me. No need for false humility. We'd likely have perished if not for your help. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. <laughs> Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Ramayer Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Ramire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. <sighs> Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... 
Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes, and those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action, not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There's a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then, so off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Hell <laughs> puns. See, I I'm not sure if this is kind of like a reimagining of the Three Houses story, or if this is kind of like we're playing within the gaps. Because so far, we're doing a lot to work within the gaps. I mean, granted, we just defeated Costas, so... Yeah, I, I do not know at this point. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. Interesting Empire. Hey, look, all the, uh... All the students are here. Uh, after a battle, you'll be able to interact with the allies. Press A with the unit. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, but looking at the time, we are at about 50 minutes here. Uh, I want to get this edited, uploaded, and everything. Uh, so I got plenty of time and hopefully be able to get it up. Uh, over on BitChute before I have to go to work tonight. Uh, that's right, only one video today. I will have a double dose of this game for you guys tomorrow. It's just based on when I, I fell asleep waiting for this game to come out at midnight and just based on when I woke up, got it recorded. You know, I only have so much time before I have to leave. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, social media is in the description. Like, comment, not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gels. Some of the game channel. I'm out.